Uh, so today I want to talk about Timescale and what I'm going to refer to as the once and future database platform, Postgres. But because we're here in New York City and many of us are in New York companies, I thought I'd start with an analogy. New York, you know, as you know, was born as a center of shipping and trade from tall ships to steamships. So why am I talking about this? And let me try to bring the analogy home, however strained it might seem. And I want to talk about databases and data infrastructure. And hopefully you'll see the connection to reinventing yourself on firm foundations. Uh, even though it has its roots back in the 1980s, Postgres is now one of the most popular database for developers. And it's not a niche database, good for only one thing, but a full database platform. And we'll see why in a minute. First, a bit about Timescale. Timescale launched our database in 2017, building on Postgres. Since then, we have raised 180 million in funding, becoming one of those New York unicorns with support from Benchmark, NEA, Redpoint, Tiger, Global, and others. But how did we start? So let's go back to 2015, when there was a lot of excitement about the Internet of Things. So the question was at the time, do these new IoT workloads require new data infrastructure? In fact, we started Timescale not as a database company, but trying to solve this IoT data problem. We started by looking first for a good time series database that would fit our needs. Fast, scalable, spoke SQL, and could combine sensor and business data. Unfortunately, we couldn't find it. So we realized we had to build it ourselves, the proverbial scratch your own itch. One might have been tempted to start anew and build a niche database focused on IoT and time series data. And in fact, that's the approach taken by the vast majority of existing time series databases. But we said no, and instead we extended Postgres for time series and real-time analytics. So how do we improve Postgres to work with time series and real-time analytics? Generally, a number of improvements to increase scale and performance. So-called hypertables, which automatically partition data to improve query performance and support high insert rates. Hyperstore, which is our hybrid row columnar engine, accelerates queries on these hypertables while reducing costs via native columnar compression. And much like time series, we focused on performance and ease of use. Compared to one of the leading vector-only databases, Pinecone, PG vector scale is 28 times faster for high recall scenario. High recall means you actually care about getting the best answer. Now, these results, for example, are from industry benchmarks with 50 million embeddings. So this isn't a toy example. Hopefully beyond this number, it shows a little of the developer experience. No additional services, APIs or pipelines. And hopefully if there's one thing you take away from this talk, a new data workload does not require a new database architecture. And to bring it full circle, similar to New York, which constantly reinvented itself on a firm foundation, Postgres, we believe, is that similar platform for building powerful data applications. And timescale has supercharged it for new use cases. First for time series analytics, and now for vectors and AI. This allows our goal for everyday developer to build powerful applications with just Postgres.